Hello, Darklings. Hi, everyone. We're back. Are we? We went, we, yes, we went to Vape Fest. We did. And we've had a bit of this and a bit of that and a bit of the other. A lot of the other. And we've had some vape mail. Well, there were no kids, so, you know. Right. <laughs> right. We got a pretty package. Right, I'm going to cover that because I don't want, like... Our address to show. Yeah, but you can see who that's from. Vape. What a lovely envelope, isn't it? Yeah, actually, it's a pretty neat idea. It is. It's, yeah. it's quite. It's quite solid. I, 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 we better not spend the whole flipping review. Talking well, no, about because the I, I think it's, I think it's, it's quite important to do that because we've actually been spoiled and, and we were handed a vape. Yes, we were given a vape at vape first. That's a brand new virgin and one. This one's still in its packaging. So. This one we we we, we got at uh, at vape fest. We had it handed. So one we handed. One had a put me false feet back in. One was handed to him, and the other ones come by mail. Yes, what she said. Right. <laughs> okay, so we got the the vibe handed to us at, at Vape Fest, and I thought, oh, I've got one of those in the post on the way to me, which was that envelope we just saw. Do you mind if I have a toke? Says I. Yes, says they. So actually, this is what you get. It's about the size of a king size cigarette, extremely light, you could hold this quite easily and talk it, it with it in your mouth, if you wanted to. Um, now, like this one, I ordered a menthol because I've heard some things about it and I thought, I'll order the menthol because menthol you can't mess up. You know, you're going to have the taste there, aren't you? Aren't you? Hmm. It looks like a normal cigarette. It does. There, there's no getting away from that. That's quite stiff for me personally. But I'm not going to say too much of a, about this. I'm just going to go straight into the into, into the things. Okay. So what you have here is a menthol, menthol cigarette, or ciggy looky likey, to be more precise. Let's have a look at it. red LED on the end. Now it does actually, I can't show you on here, but it does actually glow a little bit up when you're taking a toke on there. Bad idea if you're in a club or a nightclub. Dim lighting, people see that, they're going to think you're smoking. Cue the arguments, all the bouncers kicking you out, okay? Taste-wise, it's menthol. There is the slightest, and I do emphasize slightest, hint of a menthol in there and that's on a dirty great big toke as I just took. If you take a normal short one, nothing. In other words, drop one menthol sweet in a gallon of water and you would have the approximate flavour level. It is extremely, extremely weak. Now this is aimed at People who are thinking about switching, giving them an alternative. I won't say the quit word because I don't vape for quit and I'm sure a lot of you don't. So this is aimed at people who think, oh, I've seen some of them. I'll try one. I have to be perfectly honest here. If they did, <laughs> let's, go. let's go back to memory when you used to smoke analogues. Mm. If you smoke tobacco analogues, you had a taste albeit now when you go back to that it can taste bleh. did I really do that it still had a taste people who had the menthol had a taste there's the clue it's all in the taste as well as the vapor production as well as the hand eye it is the taste there is nothing in this to encourage anybody to stick with them personally if I'd have picked this up thinking oh I've heard about these let's have a go which is how i did start two and a half years ago or nearly three years now i would have gone straight back into the petrol station pub shop wherever to pick up my tobacco again it is complete rubbish and this is a bad idea people okay so vipe here it comes from which is interesting that they've got it as it looks like gov pe but it isn't it's govipe.com um 
get someone in there who actually has a taste bud okay get someone in there who has experienced menthol in their life sometime in their life it's going to give them the clue as to what a taste should be there is nothing there uh, and what's really bad about that is it contains eco pure that's a british or a uk company for the e-liquid the rest of it isn't <laughs> it's like chinese i suspect um but that that's just really really bad so red led we've got to balance it because we always try to balance our reviews uh, i mean there isn't anything to balance with it it's it's light it okay okay it's light and you can hold it in your mouth and pretend you're smoking but nah we very rarely give totally and utterly bad reviews, but this one has got to have a uh, uh, uh of me. It's got, yeah, yeah, it's just the slightest, and I do mean the slightest. It, it's yeah, when when you've when you've tasted real juices, real menthol, you'd swear you'd drowned in a tube of Colgate toothpaste. That's menthol. That is, there's no smell to it. There's, um, well, I, I haven't actually sniffed it. Give us. There's nothing to sort of say, oh, that's a menthol one. Oh, that's a chocolate one. Give us a waft over this away. Don't you dare you. Oh, wow. It almost tried to make some vapour. No, there's nothing there. Yeah, maybe that's an advantage. That there's no smell to it. Um, but, yeah, I don't think you'll be able to... No, no I don't, taste I, to it. No, I, don't no smell. I don't think you'd be able to blow a, a blast of vapour into, into some bouncer's face as he's dragging you out the door saying smell it doesn't smell of tobacco okay but so what does it have so it has three different flavors the vipe red is rich full strength taste experience um the vipe blue is classic mid strength taste experience and menthol regular is the green one a uh, refreshing, clean menthol taste. <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> so now, where do we? Let's let's wiggle the mouse again and find oh. out what the actual strength is. Is that so, prompter? Is the other screen? Yeah. So <laughs> the uh, the Vipred. This is the strong flavour. Contains eighteen point six milligram strength. I'm assuming that's strength because there's no way it can contain eighteen point six milligrams. You're thinking of volume, not strength. Yeah, I'm thinking of volume. So yeah. okay. Vipe Blue contains 12.5 milligram strength and Vipe Green contains 12.6 milligrams of nicotine. So, it can contain as much as it bloody wants. It's tasteless. <laughs> it is a soulless piece of equipment. It's... And it's got a red LED on the end. Look, guys. Guys. Like I say, get Hello. someone who's tasted menthol in their lives. Get them to actually duplicate that kind of taste. In that sort of package, change that from orange to blue, green, purple, psychedelic, whatever, and get it back out. And you might just have something, all right? But as it stands at the moment, it's a complete pile of Herefordshire bull, okay? <laughs> it really is. Yes. The bull droppings, not the bull. The bull's quite tasty. Right. If the droppings aren't. So. Vibe. And an went, expense, went, expensive crap. Yes, it is really. I mean, six ninety nine for what it's aimed at. I'm not really impressed, to be fair, as you could probably tell. It's, it's a shame, you know. Um, on there, I mean, as I say, the worst thing is it's got eco pure e liquid in it. There's no taste. Come on, guys, no taste. Get some bloody taste in it. Hello. <laughs> as I remember, when I used to occasionally, I used to have menthol cigarettes. You used to taste the menthol. If you go on to the vaping sites and pick a menthol flavour, you know you're having menthol. Even the mild, you know it. On that, it's kind of like, is it, isn't it? It's like a Timote advert for an e-cigarette. Sorry, I just placed another product in there. <laughs> she isn't she. Yeah. Does it, doesn't it? So, like, so if you had been right. handed that and didn't know it was menthol, yeah. would you have tasted the menthol? No. No, you wouldn't have, yeah, you, you're pre-triggered no. to think oh where's the menthol taste no because oh. on a normal drag of, of like uh three four seconds you wouldn't get it the only time you're getting the slightest hint on that is a really really long one oh 
Go on, suck it, dear. Favourite production. <laughs> but for the size of the toke I just took, it should have been a lot more. But there was vapour production there. There you go, that's a plus. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> no but taste. That's no taste, really, just really... We really can't do any more for it. It's the, pack, the packaging part of it is not childproof, but then again it wouldn't be. Some people say it's rather an easy top. It's not, actually. That's quite stiff, as you can tell on that one. So if you've got one that's really easy... I don't know what to say really because that certainly isn't. <laughs> if you do want to go for one of these because you don't like taste or life in general, um, you've got space for two so you can actually waste more of your money and get another one. <laughs> um, on a plus side, a really big plus side, the new one only cost me £1.69, I think it was. As a, tri as a yeah, trial. As a trial. Try, try me. Um, well, I did, but I wasn't impressed. <laughs> Neither will uh, the vast majority of vapors be. Will it help a new person as a gateway product? This one, no. I doubt it. To mm -hmm. be fair, because you, as I said earlier in, in the in the review, there's a taste. There's a taste to analog. There's a taste to analog cigars. There's a taste to. There's a taste. You know, it's not just hand to mouth. It's not just vapor or, or smoke back then. There is a taste. And whereas it may have tasted disgusting now, going back from vaping, if you're new and you think, I'll try one of these, you're in for a nasty yeah, shock. Yeah, you want, you want something that... My, my guess is they go straight back in and, yeah. and buy another one, because I certainly would. I'd have gone back in and gone straight back on the backy. That needs sorting. It is a complete pile of crap. Goodbye. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's it from us then. Well, that's one the, of those reviews. It's not very yeah. often we get to do that sort of yeah. review. I'm sorry about that, people, but I yeah. will tell it as it is, and that is. <laughs> yeah. So that's it from us. I whacked missed... the ponytail at it. A rubbish. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to finish this review. Will you settle down? She beats me. <laughs> that's it from us, the vapor mists. She Don't remember. <laughs> Check him out. On Twitter, check, check him, not check him. <laughs> and uh, he's also on. Uh, he's one of the moderators on Plans of the Vapes. You may not get to speak to Andy directly, but any questions, there will always be somebody there. At God knows what time of the day and night to mm -hmm. answer your questions. Yep. And don't forget to sub if you like us. Oh yeah, sub, subscribe if you like us. Yeah. Finish. Yes. You sure? <laughs> That's it. Bye. Bye.